replaced a bunch of pipes. <laughs> purple potion coming out very slowly, but purple potion coming out. Yeah, they, they, they do manufacture kind of slow, but at least it's, you know, like, 1 to 10 ratio. Yeah. So. I've got a uh, stack inserter here to yank them out whenever they're done, so should be at a decent rate at least. And just for good measure, I'll put in some speed modules. How are we doing for power? Um, are any of the machines actually, um, like, are they- We have 100% they... satisfaction right now. Um, so. we, we are at about 50% performance of available for performance right now. Yeah. Um, and a big reason for that is because, you know, I've completely disconnected all of our oil operations. Yep. Which, that's... like, that, that will, that will turn around and change very soon. <laughs> <laughs> My god, green production is really on, uh, really, really strapped there, isn't it? Yeah, well, I've just been hitting it over and over and over again right now, so, uh, hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see, what's it low on? It's not low on anything, it's just taking a while to produce, so we actually just need more assembly machines. By the looks of it. Okay, um, well. Oh shit, why the fuck is, uh, everything... Why is there water in the petroleum gas line? What the fuck? You presumably connected it up when you misplaced over there. At a guess. Oh no, look. I've got two underground pipes crossing each other. That must be oh, why. Oh, yeah, yeah. That mm. would that would do it. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that happens with under that happens with the underground belts a lot. But with the underground belts, you've got three different versions that you can use to sort of connect them today, to connect them together, so they don't do that. Can't do that with pipes. Well, uh, live and learn again. Live and Actorio, learn. Actorio, advanced pipes, give us. Piping is really the most painful thing to have to like freaking manage in this game. Yeah. And literally, I can't, like, is, is, is it possible to evacuate the pipes? I think you, well, you could maybe put a tank on one end and have it go into there, but I think you're probably better off either way just getting rid of the pipes. Serious fucking them. pain in the ass here. Because mm. I'm sitting here and I'm just like, oh my god. Ah, shit me, and it's still full of water for some reason. No Alright, it would appear okay? that we are all hooked up and ready to go. Um, the only thing that we are missing is a supply of oil. Right. Um. Jump. Actually, you know what? Um. Jump jacks? Pump jacks? Is that what you want? How do you. How do we make oil barrels and how do we empty oil barrels? I think we just feed them into things. Unfortunately, I can't actually just, like you to see where they get to see what they're used in holy crap i don't remember how you do this with the oil barrel thing i presume that it's is it a chemical plant thing you can do that would make sense that makes some degree of sense there must be a way to empty them surely <sighs> um here's here's the thing i know that there is a way to empty them because i remember doing it in the past with other projects But I don't remember anything beyond that, because I've never actually used anything. It's it's been so long since I've done it. What I remember so have, was that I used I to have, you have crude oil barrel or something to that effect, right? Yeah, there like there there's a uh, there's crude oil barrels. Like we've got a whole bunch of barrels over here, okay? You know, in this chest beneath the blue signs. So there's empty oil barrels. We have a supply of them, and I remember at some point in time I was actually putting things. Into... It's, a, it's assembly machine freeze. It's automation. Okay, okay. So it's it's a situation of you pump it, you pump the oil into the assembly machine. It puts it into the barrel. You move the barrel, then you bring it back, and then you put it into the same type of assembly machine. Exactly. And it, yes. Okay. Yeah. And if it's of having a tablet to my left hand side, I literally just have the Factorio wiki up. Oh well, aren't we just fancy? <laughs> it's a very very long pipeline. Yeah, it's gonna be. Because the alternative is that we get to trains, and we do have trains unlocked. Well, no, I mean the the, the you can't you can't do water and trains because the only thing you can put in barrels is oil. Nothing else oh, can go in barrels. Right. That is the big uh, pain. So I have to I have to build this enormous frickin' pipeline 
out to the coast. <sighs> Life is pain. Pain and suffering. <laughs> Pretty much. All right, so, uh, with that done, I'm gonna look at my, uh, system here. Full oil processing. I am crossing that off because it is done. All of our oil Ooh. processing is complete. I don't think that we're gonna have a problem we, with the, We uh, have an system. electric mining drill down here that is powered- that is eating literally nothing. Expected um, resources, blank. So I'm just gonna tear that up. Um... Actually, put it back down. Let me, uh, like, the mining thing has always been mine, so I'll- I'll- I'll fix it. Like, I'm- I'm stuck just sitting around with, um... Okay, I can't put it because you're slightly in the way, I think. Or something is. It doesn't want me to place it here for some reason. Oh, it probably doesn't have anything to... Just- just slap it down on the, um, the coal field. Well, that works. Okay, cool. Yeah, you probably can't put it down on... Yeah, you can't put it down where there's nothing to mine. <laughs> So, oh, so that means it wasn't placed where there wasn't anything. It was there, and it just emptied the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's exactly it. That's it. That is exactly yeah, there's, it. There's another one top left here that's got the same issue. Oh my word! Why don't you pick it up and move it over to the left then? Just kind of extend it out a little bit. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, petroleum gas is uh, manufacturing, all ready to roll. Okay, so, so now um, we need to feed that into making batteries. Yep, so here's the deal, okay? This is the deal. Um, if you look here, line. Yep. Uh, you've got the chemical plants, you need to do it. I think you might need one or two more. But the, ca uh, the, uh, the petroleum line, the outline for the petroleum, is this whole bottom line here, okay? Right. Just be careful not to run it into another pipe, and you will be good. Hmm. Well, here goes nothing, I guess. <laughs> nothing indeed. So what are you going to get those robots up to? I've never actually used robots. Well, the first and foremost thing that they can do is logistics. So they can dump stuff out of your inventory into storage. They can also do the reverse and put things into your inventory. So, for example, bullets and repair kits and the like. Can you get them to service the actual... um? turrets to continuously yes them. you can that is really nice like if you give if you like the roboports themselves have an actual space for putting repair kits in so they will just autonomously go out and repair broken things in their range but if you have uh requester chests and like an inserter next to the turrets they can refuel them as well oh, cool. because they'll put bullets into those chests hmm And then construction, of course, you can cut whole swabs of trees down and put whatever you want over there. You can use the blueprints to make things like this big oil setup really easy to replicate, all sorts. Wowee. They are lovely. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't have a machine gasm on me there. Make yeah, you're the one that everywhere. met Busto. Or Fisto, I should say. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll never live it down. Nope. I don't know that I really care to either, but <laughs> I I live up to that one. All right. So. All right. So there we are. We've got some freaking. We've got all the water we're gonna need to run this, uh, this line. Hopefully, this will also be enough water to uh, run the, uh, to run anything that you need up here. Hopefully, I'm just gonna come down to repair. Jeez, one of the turrets took damage. One of the, if the one of the turrets took damage, that means that they got through the wall. No, the wall's still here, but this turret over here, this one was damaged. What the hell? How did that happen? Which might mean they have range. They had developed ranged attacks. Don't tell me that they have technology that they can develop. Well, we're they dealing, can evolve, but we're, yeah. we're dealing with the Zerg here, man. Apparently. Freaking Zerg. My word. Actually, come to think of it, whenever we say you know just Zerg it. Did that strictly come from StarCraft, or was Zerg a yep. term? Zerg wasn't a term before StarCraft, was it? Nope. Man. It is absolutely something that's ended our common lexica via virtue of StarCraft. A little bit like the phrase, you must construct additional pylons. I'm just gonna offer this up as a possibility here, lying. Mm -hmm. You could feasibly make something really simple and straight right off the bat so that we can just get automation done because we're actually running out of time for the session. 
Yeah. <laughs> so we might actually want to just try to get batteries manufactured on a hobbled state because, like, there's been a massive improvement in chemical processing. Definitely. Just, just an idea, you know, just an idea. I mean, I don't think anything has actually managed to get through on this. I'm not, oh no, we're seeing 24 lubricant and 5.1 petroleum gas. There is some. Uh, do you want to start hooking up the water and the petroleum gas to the sulfur side at least? Um. Man. More pipes. Let me go get some freaking yep. iron. Yep. All right. You know what? Actually, you know what I'm actually going to do now? I'm going to make basic assembling machines. I'm going to make two of these. And I'm just going to set up a place that manufactures freaking pipes. That's all I'm going to... I just need something that manufactures fucking pipes. I, 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 I'm not convinced we're going to get this done in one session. <laughs> no, I don't think that we are either. Um, what, I'm, what I'm really concerned about is that we can just put down the words batteries, you know? Yeah. And that, that we, can, we can basically stop... Uh, and, and we can come back and we can be like, okay, well, I mean, all the really nasty, intricate stuff is done. So there's nothing to really worry about. Hey. Welcome to the grind, everybody. And petroleum away. Okay, so right now I'm only supplying one of these things um, with the petroleum gas, okay? Yeah, cause just so we can get it running quicker. Yeah. Um... Now, with that done, I'm gonna go ahead and connect the water line up. Ooh, ooh, lying. <laughs> yep. What have, what have you done here? What What have I done? Let me know. L okay, that's an oil line right there. Yep. What happens if I put a water line right next to it? It shouldn't mix because it'll be a regular pipe next to a pipe to ground, like over here. Oh, you're right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just spent how long setting this stuff up and that didn't occur to you? Listen, listen. I made one simple mistake and I had to rip up an entire pipeline, okay? True. True. So I am being ultra cautious right now. It's ready to go. I mean, everything should be ready to go. We should be able to make some batteries now. Yep. Once we feed some iron in, which I can I, I can whack some iron in here by hand right now, so that's that. Yeah, that's that's just the idea. It's like, yeah, let's just put some freaking iron in. I'm certain that we're being super, super riveting to everyone as well, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. we're, 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 we're focusing very hard right now to make sure we get this working properly. Like, everyone, uh, like, everybody is tuning in for the awesome, you know, comedy of this series in the first place. Yeah. God knows. And now we're being God very knows. careful because if we mess up a pipe somewhere, it's going to go horribly wrong. Okay, we got iron in one. Iron yeah, in I don't another. have much iron on me, so you're going to have to drop more into that chest. But let me go grab some. There we go, iron and copper into the others. Bingo. All right, we've got batteries. Hooray! Oh my word, oh. All right, now how many of these stupid things do we have to make? Which ones do you mean? The, the batteries, how many of these stupid batteries do we have to make? We're about halfway through on 100, so we need 50 blue science. And every blue science requires... One battery, so we only need 50 batteries. Hooray! All right, and actually at the speed that we're producing this at, we'll be there in no time. Um, we're probably gonna... Actually, do we have energy storage yet? Uh, production next to the solar panels. Underneath the uh, deconstructor, the red, the red square. Oh, sure enough, we do. Okay, so accumulators are indeed batteries, so the way that I see it, um, we don't, we really don't want to, um, attract- We don't want to make more pollution. <laughs> we don't want to make more pollution, especially at an outbase that we don't really have effective defense over and we can't rush over to and save whenever something goes wrong. If something goes wrong. Yeah. When something goes wrong is probably a lot more appropriate, but you get the idea. Yeah. So, like, that being the case, I think that it might be a really good idea for the two of us to, um, to focus on, you know, having a solar battery system for an oil field. Hmm. 
So we can we can probably like just at this at the outset here like uproot one of the solar fields that we have here. So we can. Whoa! I have never looked at this freaking robot thing before. What the hell? <laughs> That's amazing. So cool. That is really really impressive. I like it. Yeah. Wait till we get to get some robots oh, into man. it. Oh <sighs> You know I have got to start editing this series soon because um, yep. I am running out of hard drive space. <laughs> <laughs> I have a four terabyte drive. I am now down to seven hundred gigs. Good God, man! Um, and and why, that's... why? Why do you seek to deprive the good people of this comedy? <laughs> uh, mostly because I've been so like stuck in on getting other stuff done. It's one of those yeah. situations. It's like most people don't know it, but actually doing editing and stuff on YouTube takes a lot of time um, and energy. You have you have to sit down. You have to have the enthusiasm to. Uh, to actually record and then once you record you have to have the energy to edit it which almost takes as much Drive because you want to try to make certain that you're getting the good parts and you're cutting out the bad parts Which is the way that editing works and then when yep. that's done um, If you actually care about the quality of your video content you actually quality check it whenever you're done You know there are some youtubers out there um, The most egregious most example is. was uh, Martin Littlewood I remember he made an episode of Minecraft at one point where he, it was it was obvious that he didn't quality check because he put in the background music and he didn't adjust the volume on the background music, so it was like full blast and you couldn't hear anything. Yeah. It was like, come on, man, are you a professional or not? So like you 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 need to quality check your work. <laughs> so. You have to record it, you have to edit it, and then you have to quality check it, and then if there's something wrong and you have to fix it, you have to go back, fix it, and then you have to quality check the product again. <laughs> and that's that's the way that it should work. So, yeah, I've I've got a I've got a I've got a day job, still, uh, which I do every single day, rain and for shine. For the time being, at least. Rain or shine. Well, I mean, for the inevitable, foreseeable. Future because uh, I get really good healthcare through it, and I live in America, so. Fair point. Fair point. Um, so I'm probably not leaving it. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, it's also union, so you know, there's uh, there's there's no complaining there. I've I've got a I've got a nice setup, nice and cozy. Anyways, um, so th it's it's huge amounts of work. It's huge amounts of work. All right, but yeah, that's that that should be everything for us. That should be everything for us. It's it's been strife, it's been lying, and it's been incredibly exhausting. It's, well, it, is exhausting. it is exhausting. It is exhausting. I'm 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 super happy that we've actually gotten a lot of this work done. All right. Well, uh, we'll see all of you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Toodles.